Hi, I'm Liz Fuller. I've been a TV presenter for over 10 years and today I'm going to pass on my tips to you about TV presenting. How to succeed in TV presenter auditions. Okay, quite a tricky one. You need to get the job. That is the ultimate goal of the audition. You're going to be up against probably quite a few other presenters, probably 10 or 12 at least. When you go for the audition, you need to have already researched the show. You need to know what other presenters have already been booked. Maybe it's a show that's ongoing, like Blue Peter, for instance. Then you'll need to know exactly what the presenters stand for, what they're about. They're a little bit more adventurous. They'll go abroad. They'll risk things. They'll do stunts. So you need to make sure you've got the right personality for the job. And if you haven't, you need to make sure that you show parts of you that look like you do. Because of course, a good presenter will be versatile and will be able to do quite a few different types of shows. So make sure you're prepared. You must research. Also try and research the producer or the director that you're meeting, because they also have a background. They will have, um, present, they will have booked presenters for lots of other shows in the past. So try and you know, know what they're about. So for instance, when you meet them, you can say, I really love that show that you used to do and so on. Sometimes that can come across a bit smarmy, but at the same time, it does show that you're very professional and you've done your research. When you go for the presenter audition, the minute you get a phone call, your agent does, ask if there is a script. Sometimes I know girls have not asked for a script and they turn up and realize that other girls were emailed the script the night before. If you do have a script, often you're not expected to know it completely word for word. You need to know the gist of the script. Sometimes producers and directors don't like you to change the wording. So for instance, if it's a presenter's role but it's a TV commercial role, um, you're not really allowed to change the script because it's timed word perfectly for the length of the commercial or the infomercial. So think about that. Sometimes if you change the wording of the script as well, the producer and director may think you're quite arrogant, so just be careful. But then sometimes they may want you to, so it's a very fine line. When you go for the audition, be nice to everybody. Don't have some sort of mental competition with the other girls that are already waiting in the room as they go in before you, because you don't need to. That's just gonna give you negative energy. Don't think about any, anybody else. Go with your mum, go with a friend, just have fun, sit on your phone, uh, listen to music, so that you're in the right frame of mind when you go in and meet people. Always shake hands with people. A lot of girls don't do that because you think you're on the back foot, you're a bit nervous, but go in there as if you mean to get the job and shake their hand. Also remember that the people auditioning you want you to be good. They don't want to spend another day having to set up another audition. They want one of the 10 or the 12 girls coming in to be amazing. You could be that person. So look them in the eyes, say it's really nice to meet you, thank you for your time today. Shake their hand and introduce yourself. And then when you're doing the audition, make sure you know the technical jargon. So for instance, the earpiece. Try and already have gained work experience in a TV company so that you know exactly how the earpiece works. You may not even be going for an audition where you need to know that. Uh, try and know some of the technical jargon like fallback, feedback. Uh, make sure that you've Googled everything there is on how to be a good TV presenter. But just be warm and friendly. Also think about what the set is. Wear the right colors. Don't wear patterns, don't wear white, don't wear um, lines or squares that are gonna strobe on camera. If you're being auditioned on a green screen, don't wear green. I would say for any audition you go for, don't wear green, don't wear blue. I remember there used to be an old agent I had who said, wear, always wear red, <laughs> which he told everybody um, when we used to go out for big TV commercials. So whatever you're doing, research, plan, know what the show's about, make sure you look at it, from not from the TV presenter's perspective, but look at it from the producer or the casting director's perspective, and just be as natural as you can be. Don't be fake, don't be rehearsed, and don't be giggly. Good luck, if you're your natural self and you're confident and you were destined to do this, I'm sure you're gonna get it, good luck.